at it again and we've got quite the interesting one today ladies and gentlemen this is someone who i've never checked out on the channel although i have been watching some videos with this gentleman a lot more recently he's just been popping up on my youtube feed as i'm scrolling through you know uh trying to find different videos to check out and um this guy's absolutely hilarious <laughs> you may know who i am speaking about his name is charleston white uh, he is an ex-gang member uh, turned activist. And I think he went to prison for putting someone in the pine box too, if I am correct. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section. I'm pretty sure he went to prison for putting somebody in a pine box. I can't say the word because YouTube is weird sometimes when you start saying too much, but you guys understand what I mean. So uh, yeah, he, he was the real deal at one point apparently, but now he has completely turned his life around and done a, completely, done a complete 180. Um, and like I said, is, is now an activist and going the total opposite direction. But just to give you guys an introduction into who this gentleman is, I have a couple clips that I want you guys to watch because he is an absolute troll, absolute troll. So we're going to check out these couple of clips and then we're going to get into the actual video, uh, that I wanted to check out with you guys and why we are all here. But here's an introduction to who Charleston White really is. Let's dive in. Information that you're calling about, and we will return to your call at our earliest convenience. Thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Charleston White. I'm a victim of a crime by a guy of a rolling 50 crib. They call him Five Five Street Crip. Baby OG Baby Snaps. He got a cell phone in prison, and he's making. Just to give you a little bit of context, just about everybody in rap like hates this guy. So people like throw threats at him and all types of stuff. And it just so happened that somebody <laughs> who got arrested apparently threatened him. So you know what he did? He called and reported it. <laughs> In threats to victims via social media. He's recording uh, threatening videos that's very terrifying uh, in a prison cell in the dark. And he's making gang threats. My contact number is area code 936 Two five 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 one zero two. I'm calling in reference yeah, to the Department of Health Correction and Rehabilitation inmate by the name of OG Baby Snaps, rolling fifty five five Street Crips, and I think his real name is Michael or Mitch Hunt. He's calling, leaving threatening message via a <laughs> cell phone in prison. Michael Hunt. OG baby snaps rolling 50 crips 5 5 street my name is Charleston White and I'm the victim that he's victimizing my contact number is 936 255 5102 please call back in the hurry because I am terrified of my life and my next call is to the California Attorney General's office I can't believe you guys are letting inmates use phones and, and, and just call and threaten good law-abiding citizens. <laughs> you in trouble now. You done fucked up now. You know that, don't you? You know you done fucked up, don't you? Excuse the language. Excuse the language. Shit, shit's been going viral for a minute, and I want to hear your opinion. Um, oh, yeah. Lang language warning on this clip as well. Just... Fair warning. We're going to get into the actual reason why we are here right after this clip, all right? But language warning. So if there are children around, might want to turn this down a little bit, okay? It was the, Would you take $500,000 or, or dinner? Or just skip ahead. With Jay-Z. Me. It was the, Would you take $500,000 or, or dinner with Jay-Z? Man, give me $500,000. Fuck Jay-Z. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, nigga, give me five hundred thousand. Man, I don't want to. Who want to take a sit down with Jay Z over five hundred thousand dollars? <coughs> You'd be surprised. It's it, it, some people say they want to. They, yeah, they want to sit on his lap then. <laughs> yeah, they want to jump on his lap and talk to him like he's Santa Claus. Yeah, tell me what you know, Jay Z. No, nigga, I don't want to know a mother. Give me that five hundred thousand dollars. I know what to do with this here now. Yeah, 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 I know what to do. Fuck his conversation. Say and shout. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a brief introduction into who Charleston White is and a little bit about his character. He's an absolute troll. The guy loves to mess with people online. And it's funny. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> 
because he doesn't care. But the reason why we are here today is because apparently he said something that was very interesting recently. Let's check it out now. Now, I also seen you said uh, all hell Donald Trump. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 we, we need him back because uh, if you look at where we are in society and where we've dropped to in the last three years, uh, boy, we were doing hella good three, four years ago with that president. We would been every I'm even, everybody was doing good. The working class folk, uh, motherfuckers were taking trips, flying around the country. Uh, the scammers were scamming, <laughs> doing good. They were rapping about scamming. Uh, yeah, true. Oh man, it was oh. True. I don't know if you guys remember it, but there was a there was a story. I think I saw it in so, over, over social media, but. Literally, he's not he's not lying. There were some scammers who had like scammed like some ridiculous amount of money. Some ridiculous amount of money. And they started rapping about it. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like, why would you be putting that out there for public consumption? Like, you got away with it. <laughs> if anybody knows the exact amount, let me know in the comment section. But it was it was a good amount of money that they scammed. And they scammed it from the government. Like it wasn't just like a regular well, I guess they technically did take it from us because we're the taxpayers, yada, yada, yada. But they scammed it from the government, right? It wasn't just, you know, hey, you know, they met Joe Schmo on the street and scammed him out of his bank account or something. Like, no, they scammed the government and got away with it. Then they started rapping about it. And let me tell you, Uncle Sam came back. Excuse me, fellas. <laughs> it appears here that you have stolen <laughs> And as a matter of fact, we have a music video of you actually even rapping about it. And it corroborates what the paperwork says here. So, um, you're going to have to come with us. <laughs> I was just in shock. Like, why would you rap about that? Anyway. Oh, man, it was accessing PPP loans. SBA money was flowing. He meant it was money flowing through the hands of the streets, the poor folks and everybody. Now, the poor folks and everybody. Boy, hard day is warning us a hard time. And it looked like we was getting away from hard time. So much money and people were flying and buying this and buying that. You don't see too many people going down there taking all them pictures with Johnny Dane now, do you? I ain't, they ain't buying new chain with Johnny Dane. <clears throat> no, no, they ain't down there with Johnny Dane now, boy. It's rough on the niggas ass now, boy. They ain't showing new Bentleys no more, new, none of that. They back to drinking syrup. Yeah, yeah, they was able to kick that serve habit, nigga, when President Trump was in. Yeah, nigga, yeah, now motherfucker back to these drugs. I guess I should have put a language warning over this whole thing, because you never know what this guy is going to say. I apologize. I should have said that from the beginning. <laughs> He's just throwing all types of words out there, but you get the message with it. <laughs> now motherfucker back to these drugs. So shit, nigga, they better recognize and goddamn me get right this next election. Let's make history with this president. This is the first president that are ever losing an election and then decide to run again. If he run again, man, let's make history with him. Let's make him the first president to not lose one, you not win one, and then come back and win one after being president. We'll make history if we do that. Interesting. I didn't know that. There's never been a president in U.S. history that's lost an election and then come back and won an election later on and it's a good possibility that trump could definitely be the first now obviously once again we are a long long way from 2024 we're not even in 23 yet <laughs> now we're, we're 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 coming up you know on, on 23 but that's still <laughs> still a long ways away midterms are coming up it's still projected to be a red wave from you know all of the projections that i've seen i have seen one projection and I think it was a total BS projection that um, the Dems actually pull it off in the midterms and, and somehow, somehow, some kind of way. But I, I think that was totally bogus. The, you know, I feel like the consensus across the board is it, it's going to be a red wave. I mean, any poll, any statistic that you look at, the Dems are in trouble. The left, the left is in trouble. And, you know, <clears throat> I'm still trying to wrap my mind around. Why, why they're still going with this 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 method, whatever they are trying to do when they've pitted an entire nation against them. They've lost basically an entire nation, and yet they still continue to push and do the same things that they've been doing in order to get to where they've gotten. 
and obviously there's there's a few reasons why that could be one obviously um they have a few tricks up their sleeve to get the results in the election that they want right i gotta be careful with my words okay but you guys understand you pick it up what i'm putting down all right <clears throat> You pick it up what I'm putting down, you know. There, there, there may be some, uh, some trickery going on, you know, at the, at, at the polls. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll say that. You catch my drift. But also, another method, and I, I think it somewhat falls in line with, uh, what I said earlier. But I mean, open borders. You usher in millions upon millions of people. You spread them across the U.S. in specific locations strategically you get them housing food clothes and an id and you tell them to go vote and you make sure that they know who you are and what party you represent so when they do go vote we all know who they're gonna vote for right the party that helped them so that, that that's another thing third thing is they're just flat out idiots they're just flat out idiots and just in total denial right they're in such denial that they don't even care at this point they're just trying to push it like no, there's no way that these polls are right. There's no way that these projections are right. Yada, yada, yada. We, we're, we're just going to keep keep doing what we're doing or hoping that people, you know, just get used to the status quo. People forget about what life was like before and just get used to this, which I don't know how you could ever get used to this. <laughs> Gas has come down quite a bit, but it's still really, really expensive. <laughs> but um yeah, it's interesting to see, you know, so many people come out and support Trump when it seemed like the entire nation was against Trump, you know, last election. And, and in some aspects, I feel like some people still are just blindly, you know, the mindless zombies that, you know, we, we've spoken about and seen in past videos. I still think some of those individuals um, just will never vote for someone like Trump or just vote for a Republican in general, which I think is unfortunate because <clears throat> you're doing yourself a disservice when you have that type of mindset. But that's just my humble opinion. I, I, I don't think I need to go on that rant again because I've already explained what I meant by that in previous videos. But you guys can let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. We've checked out now several, even gang members now are like, nah, son, we need Trump back. <laughs> I guess in, Char in, Charleston's White in Charleston White's case, he's an ex-gang member, so <clears throat> you've lost everybody at this point, Joe. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.